So by the soul, we don't have to talk in religious terms. We can just mean the spirit or the psyche or the mind. And by body, we don't necessarily have to refer to the human body. There are many films in which uh, life or the apparent uh, a kind of spirit lives in inanimate objects. And that can become a fundamental part of the story. Um, think about stories about pets or cars or um, different artifacts and totems. Um, you know, you have the character or the intelligence of, say, a dog being opposed to the actual physical reality of the dog's body, both its abilities and its limits. The dog can seem to have a very human personality, but that comes into opposition with its actual body being a dog's body or you might have a human's mind put into a dog's body and then that becomes an opposition between the body and the soul um so i, I think one interesting movie that you wouldn't necessarily think in the in the sense is jim carrey in the mask um where an inanimate object that has its own spirit unlocks a certain subdued uh, set of characteristics within the the hero's body which is you know wimpy and subdued and puts up with a lot of crap um, and this inanimate object that has a spirit unlocks some of his heroic qualities I mean they're zany and over the top but they provide a benefit to him um, because they help him resolve certain social conflicts that he has that his his spirit in his regular body is not able to overcome so the mask you know releases things from his body that are too unbridled and too too uh, too much for society and makes it okay uh, makes it okay for us as the audience of course it causes havoc in within his uh, cultural system um, and of course that system as I was talking about in the first video is rationally structured and the movie goes to great pains to show us how that system is structured um, particularly in the setting of uh, the financial world and what opposes the financial world is of course another logical system being the gangsters okay so those are three kinds of fundamental oppositions that uh, we should keep in mind as elements that structure how stories are told and also how they're understood at a very deep level in the human mind and uh, as i was suggesting these uh, universal oppositions happen to be wherever people are in the world reason versus passion innocence versus experience and the body versus the soul.